Hi, thank you for being with me today. My name is Montana and today we're going to do a tricep torching workout. This workout is strictly for your triceps and it's made to be done with no weights at all. But if you want to add one or three pound weights, that's great too. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do today is skull crushers. So I'll turn sideways so you can see me put both hands together above your head. Bring your arms slightly behind your ears and press your palms together as you squeeze your arms down. Gently press both palms together. You want to make resistance. That way it builds your tricep muscles. Make sure that you can feel this in your triceps. We're going to be here for 25. I believe that's 20, 19, 18. This is just warming up the triceps, stretching the tricep muscles a little bit. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep those arms pushed together. Keep those hands pushed together. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to come to our next position. Heat feet, hip width distance apart, bend, slight little bend in your knees, hinge forward, and we're going to place our arms back and we're going to do just some little pulses here. And pulse. Make sure that you're keeping tension in your arm muscles. Hinge at the waist, tuck the tummy in. We're going to do a sneaky little ab workout here and just gently pulse. If you have weights in your hands, that's even better. And pulse those up. 15 more seconds here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do little circles. So we're circling in. Put your palms facing together and gently circle in. Roll your shoulders back. Squeeze your triceps together. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and pulse. This is tiny little movements. It's triggering those tiny little tricep muscles and then rotate. Go the other way. Keep it up. We're almost there. Whew. Great job, everyone. 4, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. It's starting to burn. 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. All right. The next thing we're going to do today is the tricep side push-up. So come down on your side, lay all the way down on your right shoulder. You want to wrap your arm around your waist and you're going to place your left hand right next to the shoulder and you're going to gently just press up for one, two. Make sure you're really activating the tricep muscle here. You're going to feel this in your tricep pretty quickly. These are no joke. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. If this is a little too difficult for you, you can stretch out the left leg and help you get your balance. Now we're going to pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, stay with me, 13, 14, 15. Whew. Let's switch and go to the other side. No rest for the weary. Come all the way down just like you did. Wrap the left hand around, plant your right palm next to your shoulder and lift for one, two. And if this is too difficult, you can actually straighten both legs out and that's gonna take a little bit of pressure off. Seven, 
eight, nine, 10, we're almost there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and pulse. Whew. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew. Great job, everyone. Let's go ahead and shake that out. Whew. <sighs> All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is a forearm hold. So come all the way out, hands and knees. You're gonna place your forearms on the mat. Come up on your toes and we're gonna hold. So you wanna spread your fingers about, you wanna spread your fingers nice and wide. You wanna put your shoulders over your elbows and tighten your abdominal muscles, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thigh muscles, and you wanna make your body as if it's a board, just like you could step on your back and you would be nice and firm. You're nice and tall on your toes, ankles over toes, and hold. Try not to scrunch up in your neck, keep your neck nice and long. We're almost there. We have about 15 more seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. You guys can leave in the comments if this actually helps you with me counting or if it makes it more miserable. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come down, stretch that out just a little bit. This is called a puppy pose. So you're gonna lengthen your arms as much as you can and just press your heart towards the mat. Inhale, come back up, come back down on your forearms, curl your toes under and TP your booty in the air. Walk your feet forward just a little bit. We're gonna do some dolphin rocks. So take your heels and Active as, as if you're gonna plant them, and then gently rock forward on your toes. Back on your heels, and then forward on your toes. As we do this, you're still in the same position you were before. Um, make sure that your fingertips are wide, you have your shoulders stacked over your elbows, but you're gently rocking them back and forth. So they're rotating from behind the elbows to over the elbows back and forth. You should really feel this in your tricep muscles. I know I do. <laughs> Keep going. We have about 15 more seconds. Make sure you're keeping your ab abdominals nice and tight here. Four, nine, eight, seven, Six, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to shake. Five, four, three, two, and now one. We're not gonna come down. Walk, tiptoe your feet up. We're gonna go into a dolphin hold here. So just come up the best that you can, up on your tippy toes, putting the pressure into your forearms. You're really gonna feel this in your tricep muscles. For those of you who do yoga, this is a great beginning posture, dolphin posture. If you're trying to get into pincha or forearm stand, this is a great strengthening exercise. Hold. We're almost there. If you wanna take a few rocks, to add challenge, go ahead and do that, or you can just continue to hold the pose. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down. Great job, everyone. We have one more really hard push, and then we're gonna be finished. So we are gonna do tricep push-ups. First, let me explain what this is gonna look like. We're gonna do our hands like this in a little diamond shape. 
So you wanna make sure your hands are in a diamond shape. You can either choose to be on your knees, which is what I'm gonna do because it's difficult. Or if you want a little bit more challenge, you can come up on your toes. You wanna make sure that your elbows are rolled in and that they're actually coming next to your body. Don't let them flare out or you lose the tricep workout. So let's get started. Take a deep breath. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay with me. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, this is our last push, don't quit, keep going. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, Woo. that's it you guys. So let's take a quick stretch because I don't know about you, but my triceps feel extremely tight. So take the left arm and pull it over your body. <sighs> take a few breaths here. Great job today. Gently take your left arm and bend it behind your head. Take your right hand to your left elbow and pull the arm back. I don't know if this feels good to you guys, but it feels great to me. <laughs> Okay, let's do the other arm. Pull it all the way over your chest. Whew. And bend the arm over behind your head and pull. And that's it. Thank you guys for being here with me today. I hope your triceps are torched and please stay tuned for the next video.